Welcome back, comrades, to DIY by NZ Guy. Recessing drainage pipe. Today, we're just going to continue finishing the project where we swapped out the pipes. We've got this drainage pipe, but unfortunately, it doesn't run all the way to the drainage, hence, it's collecting water nice and slow, so I've got plenty of time. I decided to recess it in the ground just along the wall here going here possibly curling in nice and slowly keeps going 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 and bang just end up in there probably drill a hole so it just dumps it right in there but I'm sick and tired of having something like this around where I keep walking and tripping over it We'll keep having to think over stepping over it so that's the plan so I went out uh, to a hire DIY hire had a chat with them they recommended this wall chaser it's a tool with two blades separated by a spacer as you can see I'm just shaking making sure that the pipe will fit and then what we're gonna do is Recess it, I don't know, maybe 40 mil using this, and then just pick a straight line from there and cut it all the way across, and then from the other side, cut it across, and hopefully it will uh, do the trick. I'll be having to chisel that out, but that might be for another next day or another day project. So this is a proper DIY project, so stick around and I'll show you how I'll get this one done. Just a side note, make sure you've got some good dust protection, some eyewear protection and something that will uh, hold the dust at bay. Hence I hired a vacuum cleaner as well as the wall chaser just to make my job easier so I don't have to worry about the dust I do have a little vac but it clogs up real quick not as powerful and doesn't provide uh, good enough separation so yep just make sure you are prepared and go from there just a side note I had four options how I can run this use the old pipe but to be honest I really really hate it because it goes through here and it keeps collecting all kinds of dirt behind it bugs start to crawl in there make a home the way it feeds out no just no the next option is to recess the pipe in the wall or run it along but then you're running into trouble how are you going to run it from the wall into the floor and across same issue run the pipe right against the wall but for some reason I'm worried that I'm gonna end up with something like that I need to fix that corner or something like I did in the previous videos where I sorted out my leaky garage so I'm not risking that I'm gonna create have a little bit of space from the wall like 10 to 15 centimeters recess it into the ground into the floor and run it along there so that's my options and that's the way I approach them hence I need the to run the uh, wall chaser along the ground just deciding on how deep to go and to me 25 mil looks good that's how far we I'm planning to recess it. Just decided to use a little spacer. Have it running next to this. So I have a consistent space from the wall. And it works out about 15, 17 centimeters. So it looks good. Now we can get start cutting. Sorry, I do need two hands for that. So we're going to skip the video to the interesting next point.
Just measuring up how far from a wall it is. It's about six centimeters. And run it right against it, kind of. See if we can transfer this to this one. The plan is to have it run straight from the gearing. Means I gotta push this one back about six centimeters, which I will do in a sec. This is the result so far. Just got it in there, put it in here. My plan is to actually just drill a hole up to there, but it's another day's project, so we'll see how it goes. The key with this project today is cut a smooth bend from this to that, and I'm going to come back and see how I can go and do that. The wall chaser is only designed to cut in a straight line but my plan is to just sunk it in, move it a little bit, sunk it in again and hopefully that way we kind of get a result that we're looking for. So stay tuned. So not too bad, missed a bit here. But then just plunge cut each side till you get to the end at the end. According to the mark, I didn't miss too much, and it's fairly alright. Most importantly, it's just as deep as I need it. Everything else we can fix up with some concrete. So thanks for watching. This has been DIY by NZ Guy. Recessing drainage pipe in concrete.